What's going on guys, Matt over here with Gen5DIY.com and today we are gonna be installing our cargo light switch in the rear of the truck. Now, this setup will turn on the lights in the bed of your truck, factory OEM lights, and your rear cargo lights, and if you have the side mirror lights, etc., all of those will turn on with this switch. Let's get to this install. For this install, this product will work with a fifth gen install or a truck with a regular tow setup because we are tapping in the power into the tow harness. In this instance, in this truck, we are gonna be hooking it up in the bed because we have a connection here, but we're also in this video gonna show you where to connect it if you don't have the connection up here. So we'll get to that next. So in our case, we have decided to install our switch at, at this point on the truck. There's a template inside the kit. You'll just need to hold that up, place it where you want it, take a Sharpie marker, make your mark, and we'll be good to go. So the hardest part of this is you will need to cut into the bed. We are using a Dremel tool. So now that we have our marks, we're gonna take our Dremel tool and start hacking away. So we have our custom hole installed. We got our wires poking through. The only thing we need to run now is our power wire. Now, keep in mind, this truck is set up for a fifth wheel, so it does have a tow connection up top. Uh, if you don't have a fifth wheel, you need to connect to your tow connection down here. So what you'll do in this instance is you'll take your red wire, the long red wire that you get in the kit, you're gonna feed it right down, and literally, it just comes right out the bottom. You it's not difficult at all. So we'll go down low and see where it's hanging. So we're under the truck, wires hanging down right here. Typically what I would do is you can kind of see where you can run cables through the body right here where there's already cables. So we'll run our red cable up through here. Recording and doing this with me. So we'll just pull this wire through and our connection wire is right here on this specific truck. Now again, depending on what truck you have, it may be different. Um, or be in a different location. But what we're looking for on the GMC 18 trucks, it is a red wire with green stripe. You're gonna tap your vampire tap into it and plug your cable in, zip tie it up and you're good to go. Because we have a fifth wheel here, we did put the T-tap in on this side. Uh, you can see we have it right on the red wire with the green stripe on this GMC 3500. And now that that's connected, we can route our cable through and hook it all up properly. So at this point, we can connect the wire. We're good to go, we can put that back. And at this point, we can also test to make sure everything works. Our bed lights are on, our cargo lights are on, and our side mirror lights are on. Perfect. Actually, perfecto mundo. So there you have it. That is the full install of our cargo light switch for the rear of the truck. So again, it turns on the full bed lights, the cargo lights, and the mirror lights on this specific truck. We are gonna be offering this for all different types of models. So if you guys are interested uh, or have questions, hit us up at gen5diy.com or email us at info at gen5diy.com. 